Watch the skies. We're dropping you in some supplies from orbit. Evening. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A smooth skin. Not something you see every day around these parts. Welcome to the town of Odyssey. I'm Mayor McHenry. We try to be as welcoming as we can. I know it's not much to look at, but it's home. Well, Gav's our town farmer. Best tasting your go around. Doc Isaac's where you go if you need to get patched up. We don't sell our town's weapons to smooth skins. That usually ends up biting us in the ass. Oliver the Handyman can fix your gear. Oh, and try to stay inside past nine on account of the smooth skin murders. Oh, well, uh, the last eight or nine smoothskins have, um, been brutally murdered and had parts of their bodies taken. Uh, fine, persistent one. Not a huge issue, I assure you, but the past eight or nine smoothskins that came here were killed, and some parts of their bodies were taken. Well, I'm not a smoothskin. Not exactly something that affects me. Listen, if you're going to lose sleep over it, feel free to go check out the crime scene. It's cordoned off over by the picnic tables. Happened a few hours ago. Cool. Thanks.
Hello. A smooth skin, huh? And an ugly one at that. If you came here for me to fix your face, I'll tell you up front that there's no saving it. Damn, I was joking. Granted, you are in one piece though. Interesting. Well, I don't want to go around accusing, but... Gas crops have been growing oddly well lately. A little too well, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't be surprised if that sicko was using bodies as fertilizer. Sure. What can I do for you today? Oh, dear, it's just terrible. Over the past two weeks, several humans were killed here. I don't really know anything about it, but I'm a little scared to think it must be someone I see every day. Not really. It could be Oliver. He always makes jokes about humans thinking they're better than us, but sometimes I think he means it more than he lets on. Anytime. Before the war, I was a counselor. From there, I kind of just fell into medicine. To be honest, I never did get to graduate as a pharmacist. Bombs fell two days before I got my diploma. Can you believe that shit? Bye.
Hello. Hey, smooth skin. McHenry said you might be dropping by. What can I do you for? Looks like you stumbled upon me right when I needed you most. Farming and feeding the people is all well and good, but I need to make some money. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell you cash is king in this world. And frankly, I need a way to make caps a bit better than farming. I don't want to live like everyone else. I want to live better. Make a name for myself, you know? Moonshine, kid. That's my ticket out of this rut. Problem is, the crops I have right now don't produce enough ethanol. But I know some that do. If you could steal me a few samples of that ethanol maize from Union, I can start growing some crops that will allow me to make some serious caps. I can pay you for it, too. You steal me that corn and I'll pay you 600 caps. Excellent. What's new? No problem. Some crazy bastards think us ghouls don't eat. Idiots. Maybe they should lock us in a refrigerator and see how we do. The radio says power is restored at home. We have a final order for you. Down south, in the foothills, there's a savage camp called Zabula. Els Dragon says that they are harboring desert rangers from Arizona, and Olga, their chief, is assisting the NCR. We need you to go down there and end his life. Olga backed out on our deal. We're keeping our word. You think so? Oh, well, how's this? 
If you're not back in four days, I send a hunting party to take you in as a traitor. Does that light a fire under your ass, Tenderfoot? There were many savages, plus two great demons. Did you break a sweat, new slave? Quit bitching and move on. We are raiders, the murderers of the Cajun past. We are legends for standing alone against the tide, one against the world. If you want to earn your place, you must fight as we do. That's what I thought. When Ooga is dead, take his head back to El's Dragon. He'll mount it on a pike outside your barracks. There's additional ammo and a few weapons from that caravan in the trunk by the door. Take what you need. What's going on? I don't want to buy what you're selling.
Hey, come on. How would you like to spread your wings over? Looks like we found prey for the taking. There's a sand crawler full of merchants from the hub trying to run the barricades. They made it past us in battle. Looks like they're smuggling humans up the 15 to LA. They know better than to bring meat into the pass without feeding the vultures. We're gonna raid it. I knew I could count on you. Hassan doesn't fight beside just any random fool. Come, we circle the prey.
You have done well. Go ahead and take your pick of the crawler's goods. They got food and medicine in the refrigerator. It's a crawler. The hub builds them. You need them to travel the Dune Sea beyond the steel bones of the South Pass. You simply can't carry this much stuff on foot across the sand. The seas rise in the wind and carve flesh from tooth. Painful death. This one believed they could cross us on the eve of our vengeance. Vultures see all. No prey escapes. Ah, good ears. I was wondering if you'd catch that. These are fresh slaves for the block. Good price. Even with their weak, civilized skin. Now why the fuck will we do that? That's the best pay we'll see in months. We lost blood on this raid. Wait a minute. Are you one of those weak gutted old guard fools Wilco keeps around? Their soft ideas have no place in the new alliance. You take what you can get. You give nothing back. Fuck! If you weren't the most vicious bastard I've ever met, I'd cut your throat. Fine. Take your bleeding heart and leave.
stop where you are. I know Else Dragon sent you to kill Oga, old friend. This is not something I can allow. If you plan on trying to harm my tribe the way you did those at the power relay, then you will die here, by my hand. What? Who is this Kiva, and what does she want with my tribe? Or you, for that matter? Hmm. Dubious. Then again, you are nothing if not cunning. I left when I heard Els Dragon plan to use his newest acquisition to kill Ooga. He is my chief. I could not stand by as my people were slaughtered. So I left. I assumed you were corrupted in your mission. I'm glad I was mistaken. So, who is this she? This is a desperate gamble. Then you would best think on your feet. Fail, and we will all die, least of all you. Follow me. Stop! Stop! Too many of my people have fallen beneath you. I do not wish for this bloodbath to exterminate my tribe. Come, I beg you. Sit and speak to me. We only want to remain free. We are what the raiders claim to be, but we are not evil. Greed does not cloud our minds. We have no need of conquest. The NCR, the raiders, they are not like us. If our small ways are a threat to their great empires, then in their hearts, their ways must not be so great. Because I know you. I know where you are from. I knew you before you were even born. I knew your mother, your family. We are kin, you and I. We share the same blood. If you speak to me, I will help you turn away from the path of evil back to the light. Yes, the star tattooed on your flesh. It is a mark of the Orion tribe, one of our old friends. Come, speak with me by the fire. I will tell you all I know. 
Just please do not kill any more of my people. There is nothing we can do to stop you. Yes, yes, of course. Please, come sit. Come. You have only been out of the vault how long, and you have already become the Destroyer. This is a tragedy that the gods cannot forgive easily, but it is not your fault. You have only followed the path you were created for. You do not know? They did not gift you with the knowledge? This is casting light on the shadows. I know much of your history, Destroyer. I know of the one you were before you were pulled from the grave by the Demon King. I am the chieftain of the California tribe. I once governed many, now there are few. I knew your mother before she was lost to the darkness, before she was taken and became Braelenor. She was called Orica. She came from the east as others did, one of those they call exiles. Hmm, you know little. It is to be expected. The Demon King spared you the grief of knowing. The demon stole your mother from her loving tribe long ago. They took her and twisted her inside, making her a tool of the beast. She was gone five years before she returned to her kin. There were children with her, three by her side. One in her belly. After releasing Orica from torment, the beast left her alone in the grasslands where she would be found and returned home. For a time, they were happy to have her. But she was a shell of what she was. The demon had taken her soul. She died after having the child. They were adopted by her husband and raised in peace for three years. Then, in one night, the demons took her from her grave. They stole all those in your tribe and left the children in the sun. You were among them. A witch named Danai led the Rossman to them, guiding them to the lost children and he took them away to the vault. To the prison of 10,000 horrors. It is the eternal dam between the gate to hell and this world. The children were released to our land by the Demon King. They were his reincarnation of dead heroes. Old souls lost to the pale, twisted into tools. He sought to undo the enemy who had imprisoned him in Hell's Gate, to raise the dead so he may steal his soul from the jaws of time. With a soul stolen from the forgetting, yes, he tried this magic many times and failed, except for the final one. He created the perfect mirror. 
The others he sent to be found in the grasslands as he did with Orica. Then he stole the able bodies of the Orion tribe and six others, and left you behind. Hmm. Long ago in these ancient lands there arose a great hero, the Vault Dweller. The master, the lord of all demon kin, stood to unleash death upon mankind and twist men into beasts. But the Vault Dweller stood to oppose him. He went into his lair and struck him down, driving the army of darkness into the daylight. But then, when he returned home, he found himself alone. The dwellers cast the hero out, leaving him to wander the wastes forever. The bugbear was one of the demons slain at the feet of the master. He took the blood of the hero and stole away to his lair in Dagger Point. He created you of the blood of his enemy. He tried many times, but failed. The blood of the hero mixed with many others. We fought the Demon King when he came for our tribe. He killed many of our kind, but found us a hearty people. Our numbers were too great for him, and not to his taste. The others, your exiles, they were small, and their vault origin fit his design. We knew of the witch Anai and her betrayal. She was a mad woman, and we cursed her. She was banished from our land and went to the demon. She sold him to your mother to gain power, and became the one who stalks the lands now, dispensing evil of her own. She is the witch of the land. She has many faces spread thin among the wilds of the world. In her belly is the first elder god to enter our realm from the other side. It gives her the power of eternal life, but at a cost. The witch stalks the wasteland, killing the mirrors of herself, scattering their ashes where she finds them. But one... One found its way to the Demon King, and opened the gate within the prison of ten thousand horrors. In trade, it gave itself to service. Now, the Demon King uses it to strengthen his army. The weak demons he creates are healed by it, and his new spawn increase in strength. Dark magics. The Demon King is a wizard. He spins the waters of life and twists men into beasts. But his body is a flawed thing, cursed by the gods. He cannot create more demons alone. He needs the flesh of the living to breed his hellspawn. This is how he pulled the old soul of the first hero back from the veil beyond death. It is how he created you, the Destroyer, and he is coming for you. He was at first just another twisted creation of the Master, like the Dark One himself. The Bugbear, it was called. It was not a great demon kin. Simply a lowly beast, but it grew in power on its own quest towards evil. It found in the prison of ten thousand horrors a gateway to the nether realm, the place the nightkin worshipped their gods. They stole a bean from the other side, an elder god that crawls into the flesh of men. They give their soul to the god, and it gives them powers. The great bugbear, 
Demon King. Use the Elder God to create you. You are the Destroyer, Child of the Beast. You feel it, don't you? The power that you have? You go into the world after never having killed a man, and yet... Before you lie the dead, how many of my kin have you slain? A mortal man grows weak in battle, but you... You are forever changing. You gather strength from war. The souls of the dead burn at your fingertips and become knowledge, skills, abilities. What mortal gains strength from death? What warrior can be wounded ten thousand times, shot to death, stabbed, burned, and yet rises again? You are the spawn of the Demon King. Elder God and the soul of a dead hero, mixed and become flesh. Explain this another way. You are the destroyer, the hero from the age before. The Demon King will come for you and try to take you back to its dark prison. It sent you into the world so you could gain power in the wild, like cattle graze these fields. And now here you are, killing my entire tribe, driving us towards death, consuming our souls in a feast of destruction. You have gained much power from all these deeds now that you are free from the vault of the Ross Man. The demon will come for you soon. There is no Xander root nor Brock flower with the power you have. It is the Elder God within you. It grows as you feast on the souls of your victims. The others. Your brothers and sisters, they too are possessed of this evil, but you are the one the demon wants. You are the wheat in the chaff. Those who know the secret want you. You are the ultimate warrior. But you are also inclined towards evil by design of the demon that birthed you. The demon's children thirst for war and demand a leader. Any man that finds a way to speak to their heart may command them. Even now, mortal men crave this power, but it is the Demon King who will finally bid their loyalty. You cannot chase the evil from your body. Your soul is mixed with it in every way, keeping you trapped in this realm. The only way to free yourself is to be thrown into the fire of the gateway, cast back into the pale of death where you belong. Otherwise, the scale will never return to balance. Evil will pour into this world, and all will perish as it tears out the heart of Mother Earth. Sucks, yes. But you are dead, Lost One. Your presence in the world of the living is an unnatural evil, and you must go back. Use your life to drive the evil before you. Crush their defenses, turn the power of the Demon King against him. You will have your final revenge, but then you must go. The Silver Man and Elsdragon, they know of your heritage as I do. They are using you, Destroyer. 
They will not let you rest until you have conquered the world in their name and nothing is left. You will kill all of mankind out of boredom, make a second desert of the world as it tries to return to life. This is your destiny. Yes, it does. Return to the one who sent you. Complete your mission here, and soon they will send you to the gateway. They too know of the stories, that in the prison of ten thousand horrors lie riches beyond measure, and weapons of war that may conquer nations. They envy it, and they believe that you will be the key to unlocking it. Fulfilling their greed. Yes, and it must be my own. I will choose to die so that you may fulfill your destiny. Take my head, destroyer. Return to your summoner, but promise me this. My people will be free and wander the lands to the east. This is a desperate gamble.
What is it? Lead the way. Turn. What do you want of me? Yes, if you can afford my wares. What do you need from me?
Hey. Hey. Welcome home, Brainiac. I'm fucking proud of you. A lot of people in the last 50 years have tried to kill that old buzzard, but you, you finally did it. The land is fucking mine now. For this, I am granting you your freedom. You are no longer a slave. Congratulations. But now, we're at a critical juncture in our relationship. I no longer own you, and you have no ties to our people. So the choice is up to you. I have a mission for a key, one which will unlock treasures that you cannot imagine. Weapons you can only dream of. I need someone to take it from Senator DeVille in Union City and go to Fort Dagger Point to collect what is rightfully mine. You seem like the only one who can do this, but why should you? You're not a raider. You are a vault dweller. What ties you to us, huh? Do you want to be a real raider, mijo? Good. Good. All right, then. That settles it. What do you want to talk about now, huh? I'm sure you have questions for me. Make him your blowjob puppet. What the fuck should I care? I just needed to see him dead. Throw it in the fire. What the fuck do you mean, what am I? You're a vault dweller. Some psycho freak that crawled out of Rossman's ass. I gave you a chance to prove your worth, and you turned out to be a valuable asset. The fuck did he think you are, a god? <laughs> When an old man sees his entire fucking tribe wiped out by a single fucking kid with a bad sunburn, he shits his pants. He'll say anything to explain it. Especially since that old freak was already insane, huh? Whatever he said about you and me, forget it. He was fucking with your head, and then obviously, you took his. You win. Fuck you! We're trying to charm me, murder face. She's mine, accept it. Now that you're a full-fledged raider, I need you to spread your wings a little. The NCR is going to be making a run on Fort Dagger Point also. They're after the same weapons we are. Your mission is to gather as much as you can. There are a lot of areas in that old fort. You'll need to explore them all. You need to go to Union City and talk to Senator Duville. He has the rest of the key. I'll be sending a whole group of my men with you to Dagger Point. Expect the NCR will be waiting. Easy. Deville is one of ours. He is a big new Reno gang boss, bought his way into the Republic Senate. He sent me this RSVP for one of my men. I choose you. You don't look like a raider, not with that rosy sunburn. It's not just any key. It's not just any fucking fort. This place is like... Fuck. A warlord's paradise. Because nobody puts that many locks on their front door unless they have something very valuable to hide. Even if that spooky old place is empty, I want it as a stronghold. Can you imagine trying to uproot our alliance from inside that rock? The NCR has new weapons. Old nuclear shit from the old days. They could lob one of those into our mine and wipe us out in a single day. The most valuable thing about the fortress is that it cannot be broken. Not without this. The key. Good, good. Pack up your shit and go. You have a long walk ahead. Hey. time to check. The war zone's getting hot out where we are. We gotta bug out fast. Call back ASAP.
Make sure that the she is still on board your operation. And start getting the raider tribes ready to move against Els Dragon. We're gonna have to make things quick. Find a mercenary named Anaya Ran at Union City. She has the key. That key will open up Fort Dagger Point on down the highway. We need to get it open for the next phase of our operation. Kill her if you can. She's an activist of the United States military. Use extreme prejudice. Repeat, she is the enemy. Kill her and get the key. Brag out. Right. Good hunting. Brag out. Yeah, what can I get you? I'm gonna give you that six-finger discount. I'm trying to run off of anything. Thanks for your business. You want to stick around later for a little side business? Bye now. What's going on? I heard some big explosion off in the mountain. I reckon it was that damn vault. Glad those fucking do-gooders are dead. What do you need? I'm gonna give you that six finger discount. I'm trying to run off of anything.
storage unit. What do you need from me? What do you need from me? Yeah, what can I get you? Eh, sure. Why the hell not?
Let you take care. Opening storage unit. Just don't touch my spears. What do you need from me? What do you need from me? What do you need from me? Opening storage unit. 